This wouldn't have happened without a couple of my friends. One is Susan Whirler, who, uh, Susan Hunley actually now, who uh, lives up near Chicago and told me, hey, you're from Illinois, you need to place your art in Illinois. <laughs> and then my close friend, Jim Zimmerman, one day is talking to me on the phone while he's walking in Meadowbrook Park. He says, yeah, you know, there's all this great sculpture here. And now I'm a part of <laughs> I thought you might be interested in how uh, a guy from Jacksonville ends up uh, a public sculptor. So my interest in sculpture started when I was very young, actually started with television, believe it or not. There was a show called the Hallmark Hall of Fame uh, Theater, and they would had a, an Alberto Giacometti sculpture. They would pan through it, and it was these tall, large figures that made a huge impression on me. My family would, when it would come on, they would tell, hey, Mike, your thing is on. You've got to come and watch. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, not long after that, the Picasso went into Chicago, and I don't know how many of you remember, but it was hugely controversial. A lot of people hated it. A lot of people loved it. Now they put baseball caps on it. <laughs> <laughs> then the uh, Gateway Arch went up in St. Louis, and uh, I was totally primed for sculpture. So a friend of mine gave me a book by Alexander Calder, Alexander Calder was the uh, origin of the mobile and uh, had probably installed more public sculptures than any other person around the world. I've had the privilege of seeing a lot of them and uh, that really moved me. So I went to Southern Illinois University, got a degree in, in fine art. I studied metal smithing and uh, ceramics learned how to move metal with a hammer. And that's significant in this because this piece, believe it or not, is made with hammers. It uh, is called Continuum, and it's made up of pieces of steel that are hammered to fit and ground, uh, welded in place, ground off and polished. But it started with a piece of wire. I started with a loop of wire that I twisted. If you've ever played with a loop of wire, you can twist it and put it in different shapes. I got it basically to a shape that I liked, nailed it to a piece of plywood, then twisted it this way to that, put a piece of dowel and got it. So it was an ugly thing that was held together to roughly this shape. Then another piece of wire was added, and a third. And those pieces of wire made up the cross section that's triangular. So one, two, and three, right? Then that was wired together, covered in concrete to give it rigidity, because it was just a springy mess before that. Then that was covered in plaster, and then I carved the plaster to what you see. Then, it sat for a year while I thought about it because all of my pieces, I have to determine whether they're worthy. You don't want to be building something like this and have it be a failure. <laughs> so I, uh, it sat for a year and I decided, hey, this is worth scaling up. Now, previously, I did every single bit of the work myself, but I got to 18 feet and I realized that was going to kill me. The public sculpture is a team effort, okay? So this team is a team of fabricators that is six to eight people. It took them three to four months to make the piece and then another month and a half to make the base. So that was done by the fabricators in China, actually. Yeah. Then it, uh, 
they uh, put it in a container that we used for a box. It was shipped to L.A., taken by train from there to here, and then brought to, to Urbana. So we put it up on Tuesday, uh, Wednesday. It's, uh, it's been a whirlwind. And it was all wrapped, of course. I cannot tell you the thrill of going from an 18-inch model to this. It's, uh, it's quite an experience. And uh, it's a great pleasure to, to have it in this location. As you can see, it's an incredible spot with a beautiful background and uh, part of a what's becoming a massive collection of sculptures. They have uh, a lot of pieces in their collection, and it's, it's great to be a part of it. I want to thank the, the Parks Foundation and, and the Parks Department, Tim Barker, and all of the crew who have been just fantastic to work with. And it's uh, uh, been a great pleasure. And I want to thank all of you for being here. It means a great deal to me. Thank you. Are we ready? All right. Okay. <laughs>